New Orleans has a number of key tax millages on the ballot this Saturday, and nothing has stirred up voters' passions more than Mayor LaToya Cantrell's plan to move money away from the public libraries. There's a lot of confusion about Proposition 2 and what it would mean for the libraries, so here's David Hammer to break it all down. The future of our city depends on it, like right now. Not tomorrow, not the next generation, like right now. That was LaToya Cantrell as a city councilwoman in 2014, urging voters to pay about $10 million in extra taxes each year to support public libraries. But now, as mayor, Cantrell's administration is asking voters to go to the polls this Saturday and take about three quarters of that, $7.5 million a year, away from the libraries. This is about right-sizing the library's budget in order to make sure that it can continue to sustain its operations um, and, and, and continue to deliver services for the, for the public, but do that in a way that's modernized. Cantrell's Director of Youth and Families, Emily Wolf, says the libraries can use a leftover fund balance, eliminate some staff, and find some efficiencies to keep services at current levels. But one member of the Public Library Board, Andrea Neighbors, isn't buying it. After this fund balance is depleted in 18 months or so, then what? You know, I mean, there's efficiencies that we can have, um, but, you know, we're going to inevitably see layoffs and branch closures and hours and days cut and um, cuts to programs and acquisitions. Um, and it's going to be devastating to, to kids in this city. The library board passed a unanimous resolution November 10th urging the Cantrell administration to keep the library tax millage as is. And neighbors went a step further, asking voters to say no to Proposition 2. Our millage doesn't expire till next year. Um, we have time to work on a better solution. And so I can't support this, this proposal. I hope the voters kill it. But Cantrell's chief administrative officer, Gilbert Montano, is hoping voters approve three different taxes as a single package. The proposed cut to libraries is Proposition 2. It's being offset by two proposed tax increases. Proposition 1 for infrastructure and maintenance. This is going to go to filling potholes. This is going to go to maintaining drainage. This is going to go to being able to have a structured plan to buy police cars. And Proposition 3 for housing and economic development. And this is investing in ready industries, green infrastructure, film, technology. If all three propositions pass together, the overall tax bill would remain the same. But if voters kill the library cuts and the other two pass, it would mean a tax hike of about $6.5 million. I understand that there is concerns with, as, as some are, are saying, taking money from the library. I do not see it that way. I see it redistributing for the overall collective community so that we can ensure that those kids have an opportunity. Part of the package would also redirect some library funds to early childhood education. But Neighbors says the benefits there don't make up for the library's losses. Every $5 that the library is losing, early childhood education gets only $1. Um, so we're devastating our library system to give pennies to early childhood education just makes no sense. Now it's up to the voters to decide if it makes sense to them. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. It's all a little confusing, but no matter what voters decide, New Orleans property taxes will go down slightly in 2021. That's because of a key millage rate that's tied to the city's debt. It was recently reduced as the city pays off old bonds.